Hello, friends, and welcome to the 18th episode of the Squad Pod, where we love to talk about all our favorite battle royales and multiplayer games. I'm Maddox Jr., and hot dropping into this week's podcast, we have the man who's out here getting them achievements, Kevin Asex. How's it going, Kevin? Right, Maddox, you know what I'm saying? Look at Enzo go. He's so happy in the <laughs> achievements. He's going crazy <laughs> about it. Look at him go. Yep, he loves the achievements. <laughs> And our next guest, he has one question and one question only, and that is, do you play Gwent? Do you What's play up, Gwent, Washburn? babe? Do you play Gwent? I'm, I'm living in Novigrad. I'm playing Gwent, dominating the Gwent circuit. I'm unstoppable. Novigrad. You can catch this podcast every week on YouTube.com slash Gaming and podcast services around the globe. This week, we are just going to talk about a bunch of games we've been playing. You know, the usual. We haven't really like set aside time to play a new Battle Royale in a while. Nothing's really inspiring us in terms of the Battle Royales recently, so we also don't have one chosen out for next week, so we'll probably just talk about whatever, but here we go. Uh, let's start with Kevin and his quest for 10,000 achievement points in a month. <laughs> Technically I had or like something like that. Technically I had like two weeks to do it. Okay. The, the thing is there was some rewards thing you had to do, but I had a I didn't punch in the card to say I'm doing it. So I I had gotten like six thousand beforehand. So all that went mm-hmm. to waste. So then I had like uh. I had like a day to get everything. It was tough. It was tough. I'll tell you, these two games I got were not easy. They're pretty some of them were tough. Yeah, was there any that were worth your time? I guess besides for the achievement points, just to play, play. Let me check. I'll look it up. I couldn't find it earlier. I saw you playing the one where you were shooting. It was like asteroids. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> that one. <laughs> man, I I should have looked at the, some of these games beforehand before I started playing them because some of those games were like. Interesting to play, but not on stream. I'll tell you that right now. It seemed really boring. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And that, uh, they're easy. Were they easy? Uh, in a, in a sense, yeah. Some of them were easy. Yeah. Other, some of them were like just difficult. One, uh, one of them was really difficult. What was it called? I'm trying to look it up. I'm trying to look at my games. I can't find them. I think it was the. Called, um, what was that? Beat dot thing that you were playing. That's Beat the one I saw. Yeah, it's like Maddox said. He used, it looked like asteroids, but it was set to like rhythm. Oh, bu- you bullet were flying around. Bullet, 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 bullet beat. Yeah, bullet beat. Ah, yeah, that, yeah. that one. That one looked interesting. That one just. I kind of got over it because I I didn't I don't like dubstep and how that's what I was playing pretty much with mm. dubstep. <laughs> You're so just gotta, whomping. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? I can't deal with playing these dubstep music all the time. So I had a switch, and I, I switched to a game called Chechko in the, in the Castle of Lucio. And that game was tough. That game was not easy. I didn't mm-hmm. get to get achievements all in that one day, but still, like, I had I had a tough time play, uh, beating some of those levels. Like, a, Why are you doing this? Because they had like a rewards uh, challenge where if you got 10k achievements they give you ten thousand reward points which is pretty much like ten bucks hmm. so i already ha- i already had set beforehand when i started to get it anyways like throughout the two weeks and i, I had it gone in 6k by the time uh my incident happened so i was already on it and i really wanted i just wanted to get it and that and then like i noticed yeah i didn't punch in the card so it wasn't counting the 6k achievements i i got so i had to like <laughs> no, all over again, and that was really frustrating. So this doesn't have to do with the Xbox Hall of Fame thing. I mean, it, it was, was part different. of that. I thought, yeah, it was like that was the hall. It was a Hall of Fame challenge with the mm. rewards, yeah. But I mean, if they want to put me in the Hall of Fame just for that, I mean, go ahead, you know. <laughs> put them in there, dude. They should. Washburn and I tried one of the Hall of Fame challenges that was a lap uh, around. Yeah a track in Forza Motorsport with a McLaren Senna and Mm -hmm. you couldn't touch any of the walls on the on two laps in a row basically I think for it to count or something like that 
yeah, it was like it was actually cool the way they had it set up. So you go and you it puts like the one person above you, right? And it's like, okay, you can beat this guy, and then it puts another person above you. It doesn't just like show you the whole leaderboard. It's like, oh, now you, so like you've beaten Maddock. Okay, well, here's like the next person that is like, you know, half a second up from that. Can you beat that guy? And you just keep going again and again and again. And yeah, if you touch a wall, your time doesn't count. So yeah, that was pretty fun. It was tough. That? You'd be uh-huh. in the Hall of Fame if you were the fastest, basically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hall of Fame of what Forza or like the whole like Hall of Xbox? No, for the Xbox Hall of Fame, you'd get like the jacket and stuff. I think was the idea. What really? And I didn't see that. I just saw the achievement ones. Yeah, it was like uh, the fastest time was like thirty some odd seconds, and I was at like thirty five. So hmm. someone's really good at this video game. <laughs> yeah, someone's been playing it every day since it came out. Yeah, no doubt. One of the people on. Our friends list. I can't remember who it was. He's like, he's got every time it compares me to him, he always has like everything done. And I'm, it's like, you've collected eight of these things. And it's like, he's collected 30 of 30. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> this guy's playing play huh? this game a lot. <laughs> yeah. But it's Forza, always a good time. Um, and next, we played a little game called Hyper Brawl Tournament. It was, it's a beat em up. Uh, handball game i guess uh, it's wind jammers pretty much wind jammers wind jammers i never right. played wind jammers am i saying the right name wind jammers. yeah that is yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. pretty much that but you you can punch people in it's fun that was really fun yeah, yeah it was I really fun too. i liked it before it devolved into just like us hitting each other over and over <laughs> and over you like whoever just knocked each other out the most usually won the game so uh, if if they can find, I think it's one guy that made it, right? It's one guy. And, I think so. So really? Holy moly. yeah. So who knows yeah. if he'll be putting you know any updates into it? But as soon as it devolves into like, if you just hit this person more than they hit you and you knock them out, you're gonna win. Like that's when you can sort of break the game wide open. But I'm sure if you know we played it more and more we could get into like some deeper strategies but yeah i really enjoyed playing that it was fun yeah i i feel you with like it, i felt like there was just like one too many things going on and like mm-hmm. if you took it back like a notch then it would be a little bit more balanced in terms of like the actual trying to score goals portion of the game <laughs> mm-hmm. i think um, if there was a mode where like you couldn't hit anybody like if you went into like ranked mode mm-hmm. and it was just like there are no weapons, there are no knockouts, it's just, like, shooting and trying to... Because when you throw the ball, you still control it, and you can, you know, curve it around and, you know, shooting, passing, interceptions, and stuff like that. If you broke it down and just included those elements only, it would be a lot more strategic than just kind of running across the map and and knocking the other team out and scoring the goal, so... But still, I mean, for one dude, pretty impressive. Yeah, definitely. The only drawback, I think, is the price point's a little too high at $25. Um, but there is a decent amount of customization. And if you're looking for something of fun to get into, it's it's duos. Uh, so if you have one friend and you want to jump in and try and climb the ranked ladder in that, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time. You really think 25 is too much? I thought 25 was a good price for that. Mm, I think as I don't know. I think as soon as we broke it open with just like hitting each other over and over, the my my opinion of it went down a little bit. But I just like right now in the fall, twenty five is so much. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like I just wrote down like games that are coming out in the next like month and a half, and it's like it, ridiculous. You know, and and so Cyberpunk, Immortals, Valhalla, Watch Dogs, Spider Man, Call of Duty. Like I'm not even gonna be be able to play all those games, and you know the normal person won't be able to spend all that money on all those games. So twenty five is just a bit of an ask, in my opinion. Yeah, I guess. The only thing that I thought would help the balancing like a significant amount was the fact that 
when you were standing guarding the goal, if someone threw it really hard, you'd get knocked over and it would still go in sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Mm -hmm. if that wasn't the case, that would help balance it out a little bit as well. Yeah, but it's always you're like, why am I defending this net if I'm just going to get knocked over? (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's so funny, though. It does take a while to charge it, so someone can come by and just ruin that and and Mm -hmm. and charge. So it doesn't happen too often, but when it does, yeah, it seems like a guarantee. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Um, any other opinions on it, Kevin? And fun game. Go on, go and play. If you have twenty five bucks laying around, I, I had a lot of fun. I, all the new, all the characters too. They are they're all different. They're all different like attributes on them. Like some of them are stronger, or some of them are faster. That was really cool, and the power ups were really, really funny to use, especially that yeah. uh, like sp- speed boost one. Where you knock everyone out, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> including your own teammate, yeah, because <laughs> I guess it's friendly fire, so <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I had a good time. I think the um, the fact that we played it for two hours and I didn't really feel like it had been two hours. If you had told me that, I was I was like, what? How did yeah. that happen? <laughs> so it was fun. It would. It's definitely something that I could hop into every once in a while just to mess around with you guys for sure. Um, I don't know if I would try and like grind ranked or anything. <laughs> No. I would be interested to see like a tournament of it. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. And I, I would be interested to see a bunch of like gamers try to practice this for a week and go into like a high money tournament of it and just see what yeah. the strategies would be. You know, uh, like because it is that kind of game where, like, I yeah, I say yeah, we broke it wide open with the just hitting each other over and over again. But I'm sure there's a way to counter that. Probably Uh, because like Kevin said, yeah, when you throw the ball really hard, it knocks you out. But that takes a really long time to charge up. So somebody can rush over there and hit you and knock the ball out of your hands. So it does seem like that there are a lot of different ways to counter the different elements that for us who were just running around and hitting each other. uh, I feel like a really good player would have been able to demolish us. (laughs) Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, definitely. (laughs) Um, and then the other game that we played a few weeks ago was a demo for a game called Party Animals and we had a great time for like three straight days we were playing Party Animals it's like a brawler kind of like what's a humans fall flat uh, wrestling game gang beast yeah gang beast it was kind of like gang beast a little bit Um, you could you you were very cute, fluffy animals, and they all had like different color schemes and stuff, which was also fun. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no set release date at this point, but the uh, the time we spent in the demo was a, a great time, I would say. Um, and you could play with eight players, I believe. So mm-hmm. we we got like six to eight in there most of the time, and it was wild. Yeah, I loved it. I like I I really really had a good time with this and like you said the animals and the characters are just adorable and that's what makes it you know so charming um the level yeah, design also the, so the, cool, in the different. demo there are three maps each one is very different yeah um I'm hoping that when the full game comes out on, in a full release that there is just a more basic map maybe like a wrestling ring or something that if you throw yeah. out of your you know you die uh, versus the submarine and the jet plane that we were playing on. Um, but yeah, hilarious. So much fun. Constant humor. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to this one. For sure. It was, you could headbutt, you could punch, you could pick up a freeze gun. There was, there was like specials and um, yeah, uh, the, the fact that the submarine level like advances as you go and the water comes up like adds like a whole different aspect to that level compared to the other ones I would say um the airplane is dangerous because if you jump try and jump kick someone you're probably just gonna fly straight off the edge (laughs) and then the most straight up one was like some ruins that kind of had gas on the side and uh yeah it was a really good time um really goofy but I'm looking forward to see when it comes out hopefully by I would assume it just seemed really fleshed out to me. I mean, maybe they're trying to add more modes and stuff, but um, mm-hmm. I would assume it would be by like February or so mm-hmm. would be my guess. There is, yeah. So the demo also had the team mode yeah, where it was kind of like uh capture the flag almost that except with gummy bears. 
treats and like little gummy treats. So you they put they put all these little like gum drops in the middle of the map and you're separated in the teams. You have to get those over to your area, pull a lever and they drop down into your uh, scoring bucket or whatever. Um, there's a big old gummy bear that like takes two people to really carry. And what makes it so, you know, chaotic is everybody's just hitting each other. So it's really, really funny. What I loved about this one versus Gang Beast is that it was easier to climb. Yeah. And I, and I felt like the controls, while it does, the physics of the game do give you that similar look where you're kind of just flopping around all over the place like Gang Beast, but it felt easier to control. So yeah. I, and it's just funner to look at because it's, you know, adorable little animals. So. Yeah, I, this is going to I hope this is a hit because it, it definitely deserves it. I th- I think it's really, really funny and fun to play. Yeah, I feel like I saw a decent amount of big streamers uh, give the demo a shot. Mm-hmm. I think everyone's looking for like a fun group game after the Among Us craze. I guess it's still going on, but we're kind of over it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, oh, we wanted to talk. Speaking of cute party games we want to talk a little bit more about fall guys and season two that has been was released a couple weeks ago i guess at this point um it's medieval themed there are four new levels i believe um we all i believe think that one of the levels is very good and that they need to have more levels (laughs) Mm -hmm. um what is your experience what level they add in this one or Only four. four, I think. Yeah, they said they were going to add more throughout the season, is what the trailer for the season said. Only four. It feels like they added more. Yeah, you got that uh, spiky one. You got the hoopsie solo one. The egg one. Uh, yep. And guy. wall wall guys. Is that it? Yep. <laughs> right, you really? named them all. Yeah. I thought that was more for some reason. That's nah. it. Uh yeah, I, I kind of just echo what Maddox said without going too much into it. Is uh, Night Fever is awesome. I think Wall Guys is awesome. Uh, just because it is, there is that sense of randomness to it. But the other two, I could take it or leave it. The egg one sucks. Yeah, and, it kind of ends uh, after the eggs have been Legends pushed. Is, is the new solo tail tag, and I just don't want to play it at all. Um. But yeah, th- I'm, it's it's slightly disappointing that we didn't get 20 new maps, but we'll see. I, I think what Mediatonic needs to do right now is say, hey, well, after the success of the game, we hired a bunch of new people and we're we're going to start pouring in content at a faster clip because it's, uh, it's I don't want to say dying, but it's losing steam for sure. Yeah, I'd, I like I'm fine to go back and play it every like once a week. I know some people would disagree with that sentiment, but. That's my personal feeling on the matter. Mm-hmm. Um, I do enjoy the fact that they have added separate playlists. Yeah, I think that's a interesting idea. They did it all gauntlet mode, and then they did a all slime mode, and mm-hmm. then the newest one is all gauntlet mode. Except uh, at the end, you can get any of the final levels. That's and good. I think that's one of the things that they really need to add every season is like a new final level Mm -hmm. because that that's what really mixes it up more than anything else i would say because what what the game is for people like us who are are trying to just get a shot at a crown is just get to the finals you know what i mean everything before the finals is what it is you know some of them are good some of them aren't but it's really the finals that are the most important and really the only one that i continually have fun on is hexagon Hmm. And, and the other three are fine. Uh, so, yes, I would totally agree that every season there has to be a new final variant or just a totally new map. I did take their two surveys that they put out recently just to see what they were asking. And it seems like they they were trying to get feedback on like how many levels people would expect from a season and stuff like that. So hopefully they take all of the feedback to heart mm-hmm. in terms of levels and and I know that I don't know how ridiculous this statement is, but 20, 20 for Mm. me, you know what I mean? I I don't want to go back and play the season (sighs) one levels. Yeah, sure. I'm fine if they're mixed in there, but I want a full, like, I want to be able to go through a round and not see a level from this previous season. 
So however many levels it takes for you to make that happen, then that's how many I want. I see what you mean. I do think that that might be a little bit difficult with the amount of like play testing you probably need with each level to make sure it operates correctly. Um, but 10, 10 would be nice. Yeah. yeah. 10. <laughs> Instead of four, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because then you get because like each each round of Fall Guys is what five rounds, maybe six, sometimes yeah. less. Yeah. So yeah, if you hit me with ten new levels, that could, and then you mix those in however you're gonna mix them in, and then you can still sprinkle in the season one every you know every so often. Then yeah, ten, more than four, yeah, more than four would be nice. Kevin, any opinions on the latest edition of Fall Guys? Um, yeah, it's cool. I like it. Uh, yeah, I wish I was, I'm with you with you guys. Uh, they should add more maps. I thought they, it, it seemed like they did for some reason when I was playing it, but yeah, I, I counted it off and it was only four. So <laughs> yeah, it seems like they mm-hmm. should add more than just four to keep it up. Like, yeah, I'm with Washburn too. I want to see, I want to get like a, a playlist where, I mean, not a playlist, but like a game where we just have all the new maps instead of like more like the old maps and a one maybe new map or i can go for either one i can go like it's a mix it's a mixed match that too so but yeah i i it's it's all right it's pretty cool not too not too crazy as i thought it was but then, what did we expect it didn't they announce wait did they, how many did they announce at the very beginning when they announced season two because i could have sworn it was only four right they only showed off four maps yeah, I yeah. don't I don't really recall the push up to season two from a marketing standpoint, but yeah. yeah. I think that's why they, I, like, I only expected yeah. like four of them. I expected too much. Yeah, I wasn't I'd like wished that there was more, but I assumed that it was gonna be kind of around what we got. Um I do have to say the new music, very nice little remix with the medieval theme. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that a lot. And yeah. um yeah. The new costumes uh, are cool, but yeah, and that's the battle what pass I was about fine. to say. Exactly what I was about to say. Battle pass is good, costumes are good. And like you said earlier, the playlists, which in my opinion is the best thing they've done this season. Yeah, for sure. Next, we're just gonna touch a little bit on our time in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Washburn and I played for like six hours straight one night or something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, and good. there was a, a variety of modes that are a few of them are new. Um, we were playing like the regular multiplayer, the dominations, the team death matches. Um, and then there was a game mode called control, which was pretty interesting. Um, you kind of had to hold a point. And then there was also team lives on top of that. So it would be like 30 lives for the session. And um, one team would attack and try and control point A or B. And if they could control that and run out the other team or run out the other team's lives, they've won. And same goes the other way. I thought that one was actually like surprisingly mm-hmm. balanced. I like that one. Fun. Yeah. I like um, it because it, it forces you to spread out over those maps that are that do feel big in a team yeah. match. So yes, control is good. Yeah, I feel like that mode kind of similar to the Modern Warfare one where uh like it was like cyber attack or something where it was search and destroy but you could revive your teammates if they were dead. Yeah, uh, I feel Yeah, I feel like that adds like a nice little mix into the fact that it's not just one round dead ending like search and destroy is. Um and then the big mode that we played, uh, that kind of you're like wondering, like, how is this going to affect the battle royale and whatnot? And this could have been a possibility in terms of what's going on with the battle royale. It's called Dirty Bomb, and there was uh, five or six points on the map, and uh, you collected uranium out of loot boxes. You dropped in from an airplane. Um, and then you tried to set off the dirty bomb, and the the thing that would happen was everyone would pile in on one point after the other dirty bombs had been set off, and it became like very difficult to do anything. And you'd land and die, and land and die, and whatnot. But it was a it's an interesting mix up for sure. Um, 
I think Washburn and I had a decent time. Mike loved it, and Andy Cortez hated it. <laughs> I okay. So what I loved about Dirty Bomb is that it showed me that they're not they're gonna do something with the battle royale. Like for yeah. sure, it, it's a guarantee now uh, because it, it does have the bashing through doors mechanics, climbing through windows, dropping in from an airplane. Uh, so yes, battle royale is no gonna mobiles. change. Yeah. Um, whether or not that's a new map, which it probably will be, uh, whatever whatever they do to it, I, I think it's really exciting that the, that mode showed me like, okay, we're gonna get something with Warzone that is different, and I'm excited for that. I hope there's a new map, mm-hmm. and it can be built off of that snow level for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, like because that snow like, level's dope. As and long as I, they don't add in the tanks and uh, attack helicopters and stuff yeah. that they had in Dirty Bomb, I'll be alright. Because right. if you look at Modern Warfare, what they did was they took, I think, two those Warzone maps. Yeah, for, like the that are the big team mode. They're both, um, both or three of them. I don't know how many there are, but they're all in Verdansk. Downtown yeah. is one of them, and Corey is one of them. Um, and. Uh... There's one other. I don't remember what. Fun- oh, farmland. Mm, yeah. So, I think they're gonna probably just do the same thing here. They're gonna take these big uh, areas that they have for these modes and put them in a new map and give us the Cold War style gameplay, which is awesome because the yeah. Cold War style gameplay is awesome. It really does feel like black ops one so when they tell you because that like this is what i haven't understood because they've said this is the sequel to black ops one like this is a successor to black ops one from a story standpoint and that's kind of where we're going with it but when you play it it feels like black ops one it feels like a successor to the original black ops and i love that because black ops one is one of my favorite call of duties in in the multiplayer Same. setting. So I had so much fun. I wouldn't have played it for six straight hours if I wasn't having a blast with it. And I'm super for excited sure. now. I'm super duper excited. Yeah, I mean if they full mix up and just like give you the Cold War gameplay and the gunsmith that's insane with the wild cards, like the amount of different cl- if it there's still a loadout system, it's gonna be very interesting. Mm-hmm. I think if they get rid of the loadout system, we're definitely going to miss out on. I think that's going to be a bigger miss. But if there's still a loadout system in the war zone, and there's a new map and stuff, it's going to be a really good time. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be um, surprised. What what season are we on in War Zone now? Six. Yeah, I think by season eight, it's a total revamp. I, I think we'll probably get another season of Modern Warfare War Zone while they work on things and get it ready. And then by season eight, it's like War Zone 2.0 or whatever they're going to call it. Yeah. And it, it is the Cold War gameplay in a totally new setting for sure. Yeah, I feel like they might ride it out or like ride out the Modern Warfare version till uh, a year point. So like February, maybe. I don't know. Depends on how much they've gotten done. But I expect to see some sort of tease about what's going to happen next coming up shortly. Cause that's usually how it goes. Um, the other, there was one other game mode that we tried. We didn't try the VIP escort one, which I'm like, heard bad whatever on. It. Yeah. I heard it was. Awful. Yeah. Uh, it was like a, it was basically like a battlefield domination style game where it was on a bigger map with uh, the ships that mm. that ship level was very cool. Mm-hmm. I liked that a lot. Um, and it's a little bit more chaotic with like boats and guns yes. on the boats. And they're they're going to have to rework spawns because the snipers are just having a field day. I, I was in one dude's kill cam, Kevin, two different times. So like this guy got play of the game and in the play of the game, he snipes me twice. He he snipes me <laughs> once at the beginning of the play of the game, and then at the very end of the play of the game, you see me running again because I had just spawned, and he just snipes me again. And I'm just like, oh man, like this that sucks. But it, it was hilarious. But dang, dude, like, yeah, they're gonna have to work something in with those spawns because once you do push back to to the other team's, you know, final point, there's not really a whole lot for them to do. So 
but it is super cool. Like and the, Kevin, the there's dope. swimming. I know. Mm. Yeah, I remember that. I remember it's that. very exciting. Yeah, because we played the alpha. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, yeah. A month ago, they had the boat map, mm-hmm. the desert map. Oh, I don't, <laughs> they might have added one or two maps to the rotation and the dirty bomb map. I forgot what else. There's two sure. dirty bomb maps. There was yeah. the alpine and the forest one. Oh yeah, the forest one. Mm-hmm. I don't think I like the forest one as I like the alpine one. I think I would love it in a battle royale setting, but in, mm. in that like in that game mode, I didn't really care for it at all because that game mode devolves into just trying to drop back as far as you can so somebody doesn't drop behind you. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. Uh, I'm I, either way. I'm so excited for this now. Um. I think it would be super sick if they could integrate that ship level into the battle royale as well yep as like like, a crossing point mm -hmm. this reminds me like i said just of the one of my favorite call of duty games black ops where i can just sit in the normal multiplayer suite for six or seven hours and Mm -hmm. and just lose time because i'm I'm, it's got such an addictive quality to it uh where i do want to be the best you know so i'm excited Really, really excited. That's going to dominate my multiplayer playtime this fall and looking for sure. So. All right. And then I guess we'll just switch over to our latest update with the war zone, which is the haunting of Verdansk. And uh, man, it's it's something. Kevin, you want to run us through it? It's spooky. I mean, first off, there's jump scares in the game, which. uh... I don't know if I'm a big fan of it or what. It but... gets me every time. <laughs> there was one time where it didn't get me, and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm done with it. I don't think it's going to get me anymore. And then, like, the next time it really got me, and I was like, damn it, it's still going. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this jump scare. It's because, like, you have to go around and pretty much go trick or treat and, pay, and, like, loot different areas to get, like, whatever rewards they give you for that, uh, area and then i think i think from what i heard once you pick up all the trick or treat loot the jump scares will stop so wait you- really that's what uh chris anka was telling me interesting so that's, <laughs> that's the only way for it make it that's the only way to uh, get that to stop so if we want to ever do that and get rid of it we can do that <laughs> good to know <clears throat> but yeah they uh added two new game modes game modes no yeah yeah did it. They actually added a third, which is just like solos at night. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's like the buyback version of solos, though. So, like, if you have the money, you like auto spawn back in. I think they added another one too. <coughs> recently. Oh, really? Yeah. They well, they put in Dragonaut Royale. They got rid of the. Oh Dragon. yeah, that's right. Yeah, but they had the Zombie Royale, which is really fun. That one, you have to go. If once you die, you become a zombie, and once you're a zombie, you got to go look around and look for two vials so you can come back to life and as a zombie you can throw gas you can emp i guess the people near you and what else can you do and jump really high yes so that's that's pretty cool and you have a uav always yeah always and then so yeah it's pretty much what the game mode is and it's that one that one's really fun i like that one a lot i don't know what do you guys think about that one i think uh washburn's scared I believe. Yeah. So look, I only played the zombie mode twice and was done with it. All the rest of them I don't care about. Hmm. How do you feel about the jump scares? Hate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I enjoyed the zombie mode. I thought I think it's a, a pretty good switch up in terms of like a holiday uh, mode for sure. Uh, the you just get stuck in these loops that are crazy at the end of the game where it's like you die, you come back in zombie, you grab two vials, you're spawning back in, you try and defend for a little while um, and kill the other people that are alive. And there's 10 to 15 other people doing the exact same thing. And it's kind of wild. Um, I feel like it's hard to get all of your teammates to be on the loop at the same time, but it seems like usually it's like, uh, one person is surviving longer than everyone else on that loop between zombie and human. Yeah, um, I'm noticing that too. I think Kevin got a juggernaut and 
oh, yeah. one of the games we played and he died to the gas i think yeah or to I, zombies <laughs> it was tough that, that was weird it I was a it, bad spot where it ended though yeah Kevin. we had to run across the goddamn lake frozen lake on top of dam and that was yeah that was tough or, i think there we would have won that go. one if we were we got we'd have made it if there was anywhere to like use cover it would have been fine if we were on the other side it, it's like yeah. a number of things yeah it was just ending in the open on the dam. We got second place, but that's gonna tough. look cool though. Yeah, with the gourd head. Yeah, the pumpkin head, flaming pumpkin head. Yeah. That was really cool. That was really cool. That's what the Juggernaut Royale is too. All the they have uh, the pumpkin head is it, on fire. Yeah, is it the regular Juggernaut mode that they had before, where like three spawn on the map and then you try and go and get a Juggernaut? I, I assume I didn't click on it, so I think okay. that's what it is. Yeah, I would assume. Yeah, and then they added the trios nighttime, which is just regular like trios, except it's at night. So that's pretty. That was all right. Yeah, it's it's like a little bit of a mix up. I don't. I wish you it can was a, take it or leave it kind of a thing. I wish it was a bit darker. I want it to be mm. dark in Everdance. You know what I'm saying? I don't want yeah, it to be. If, br- I don't. I don't want that the moon to be like a a, a lower set sun. You know. Yeah. Mm. If they had the 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 night vision goggles from the multiplayer, yeah, that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to yeah. be like that. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that, Kevin. But I think they should commit to it. Yeah, have the pitch black. Mm-hmm. Everyone with night vision goggles. Ugh, man, that would have been cool. You just see like lasers just going all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because be like you said, Kevin, it is just like it's a full moon, and it's just like a. Dif- it's almost like a different filter. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's not necessarily darker, so yes, I think they should absolutely commit and make it pitch black, like it would be in real life in that setting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you barely need a thermal scope in the current one. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like, it doesn't make it doesn't make too much of a difference if you have it or not. Yeah, I think it makes more of a difference in zombies just because you can see the zombies easier, but. Yeah. Other than that, for the most part, the night using a night vision scope is like kind of whatever. Mm-hmm. I think, I and mean, I don't know if y'all touch on it, but like something that's cool is they're bringing in these characters oh. from different IPs. Yeah. So oh, yeah. like they've they've added Jigsaw and Texas Chainsaw Guy in another one from a some scary movie I'll never watch. Uh, uh, I think that one's just like one of the characters from the game. Is it Doctor Doctor Karlov? Is mm. he's supposed to be like? He's probably in like one of the zombies things or something. Mm. Mode. So yeah. So they added. I mean, Jigsaw and is it Leatherface? Yeah. Um, I think that's cool. Uh, it shows me it's that they're willing cool. to reach out and make those sort of Fortnite style deals where they're going to bring in some known characters. And what's cool about Call of Duty is they can do more adult characters. So it'd be cool to see, you know, maybe the Punisher make an appearance or. Ooh, ooh. Um, something along the lines of that. So uh, I think it would be really dope. Give me Spider Man in Vernon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Spider Man with a gun running around? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, damn, they give uh, Captain America a gun on Fortnite. Uh, that's like, true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Spider Man and his uh and his bullet tracers are webs. Oh, day! It'd be cool to see like a Punisher or like a Deadshot or a Deathstroke, you know, yeah, like Deadpool. Some of those, yeah, yeah, Deadpool. Some of those more adult characters from known IPs make an appearance in the Warzone because we know they can do that now. So yeah, yeah, that would be super cool. I, I'm, I'm wondering what kind of deals Epic has with with um, Marvel and DC that gives them those sort of exclusivity rights in a battle royale format. Uh, but I'm I'm hoping that we see more and more of that kind of stuff because the Jigsaw one obviously sold like hotcakes everywhere I go. It's just Jigsaws everywhere yeah. on the map. It's like the new Phase skin, the Phase Clan skin. Yeah, it, they're just everywhere. Everybody got it. Um, I mean, like if Mortal Kombat can bring in like Terminator and Rambo, Rambo, and mm-hmm. like the oh, more adult like style so characters, Ooh, like yeah, that could work really well in Warzone mm-hmm. as well. Absolutely, yeah, that, Rambo would be amazing. So yeah, that's that was cool. I think that's a cool thing. Uh, and for me, that's one of the highlights of all of this is they're 
showing that they're able to bring in some of those third party deals and make it happen. They yeah, the one has like electric tracers too, which is kind of cool. I find mm-hmm. the tracers to be general some of the tracers to be generally um distracting when they're just mm-hmm. like colors and whatnot. Um the 16 bit one that I have isn't doesn't bother me, but a lot of the other ones are like it's like so much going on as you're like aiming down sights that you can't even tell what's happening anymore. Yep. Um, but yeah, they did a really good job with those uh, skins and it will be interesting to see if they integrate any more stuff like that. Um, it definitely seems like overall the more recent designs that they've had are a little bit more wild, a little bit more fun and uh, but definitely gets people to spend their money a little bit more often mm-hmm. than the uh, old bland Mm-hmm. All black, all white, all <laughs> all one that's color what, guns. <laughs> I'm, and I think what the, what's so brilliant with what they've done is like Black Ops is goofy. It always has been. Like the the skins and the camos <laughs> and the the ways you can make your gun look. It and it's. I mean, obviously they ramped it up even more going into Black Ops Four and yeah. you know three and four. But like even in Black Ops One there's some weird goofy stuff going on in the multiplayer suite with just like being able to make any sort of sticker you want, uh, putting it on like hot pink camos, like loud, loud colors. Um, so I think what they've done in Warzone with like, Oh, now here's this bat. You know what I mean? That does yeah. not fit the tone of this game at all. Here's this like creepy skin. And like, they're giving us that transition over to, that more silly carefree style that is black ops. And I think they've done such a good job with it. So Warzone continues to just fire on all cylinders, regardless of whether or not I like the scary modes or what sort of stuff they're putting in. They're just, they're killing it. I've had a much better time recently when in our quads games, every time I hop into duos with my one friend, it's still a nightmare and everyone's camping in houses and it's not fun for the most part, unfortunately. But Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the new sniper rifle really just like was so good and like had me having such a great time in the war zone and it's gone now. It's like not as good now. So that's a bummer. But Mm -hmm. other than that, season six has been getting me back excited to play Warzone again. Mm -hmm. It's crazy to think about Call of Duty now as this sort of living, breathing thing because of Warzone and how you know, the new release of the this Cold War is going to affect that. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it, it's it's also interesting to think like between like this and Apex and Fortnite. Fortnite got us back in with the skins and the Marvel season. Um, I haven't hopped back in in like a couple of weeks. I don't know about you two. Um, there are so many Marvel games that I would just rather play than Fortnite that if I want, yeah. if I want that itch scratched, I'm just going to go play Avengers or Ultimate Alliance. Kevin, have you hopped in and tried to get Wolverine unlocked yet? Uh, I tried to one time, but I it's too tough. And there's other people trying to get him too, so. Yeah, that's what happened to me. And I quit. I, I like, died <laughs> first game yeah. and left. I just, I, I, we need to beat him because that's how you get the Wolverine skin. I know, I know. We need to hop in as a group probably to do that. We got to do it. He's so yeah. Cool. He is so cool. Um, I don't think I will get to the end of that battle pass, sadly. I will not unlock Iron Man probably, but oh well. Um, And then more of the thing, I guess, that I'm making a point of is like I like Apex is updated recently. We hopped in for a few games when the new character was out and then just like there's like a limited time mode for Halloween and stuff. And I just I just have no urge to go back to Apex at this point. I don't know if it's just like I can only handle one big battle royale at a time or. Uh, It's. I don't know. I for me, Apex and Kevin, you probably have more to say on this, but it's just like there hasn't been enough change. Mm. But they added a couple guns and a sniper ammo type, and that's and then maybe a character or two, and that's been it. It's, it's just not it's not constant enough. Yeah, it's a slow slow update they've been doing here and there. They haven't really been updating like crazy, like yeah, Fortnite or like Warzone. But I do get the edge to go back and play it. Cause I, I don't know. I I like Apex a lot. I just There's like, just I, I yeah and stuff and I, I, damn I just I miss it sometimes. <laughs> I miss it sometimes, but then I like get back into it, and it takes like four games for me to like f- 
feel like I can aim mm-hmm. in that game again. <laughs> and then it's like, ah. Uh. But yeah, I think uh, we'll see how it goes with the transition to Cold War and whether or not we stick with it or not. I think we probably will. Oh, that's mm-hmm. scary to think about now. Is yeah. it going to be a good transition? Are we going to like it? Dang. What if we don't like it anymore? I think the one thing that would easily break it is like if they added tanks into the regular war zone. No, that won't happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just don't believe it. But I mean, we never thought they'd add Titanfall mechs to Fortnite. So, yeah. And I hope I don't eat my words. But well, they I got just, rid of that pretty quickly, it. too. And plus, they nerfed the vehicles in Warzone. So, mm-hmm. they're nerfing the vehicle True. so they're not overpowered. I doubt they put in a tank. <laughs> I think if they were to do that, they would make it a different mode like they did with that Armored Royale. Yeah, where that's maybe true. It, and every team starts with one. And, and that would be fun. Upgrade it. Yeah. That or just a, it's not a tank, but it's like an armored vehicle. You just, you know, roll mm-hmm, with. like an APC. Yeah. yeah. One of those. Ones. I can see that happening. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the great thing is that their limited time modes have been at least a little bit entertaining like mm-hmm. to play for at least one night um depending on how we're feeling that week and how much we're playing warzone i think dictates how much we end up uh playing some of these limited time modes but zombies has been good the armored trucks one was fun we didn't get into that one because we weren't playing that much that week i feel like and then juggernaut uh, the juggernaut royale <laughs> The, the, I guess the fact that there's just like such an opportunity for like hilarious moments in the war zone is what keeps us coming back as well. Um, Cause there's like, I, we've talked about this a lot and how boring Fortnite can be at times Yeah, and how many bots are in there include like even including like the superheroes are bots at this point. It's just like a lot of bots going on over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guy, I guess it gets to the point where I think there's like maybe like ten real people in the game. I know, right? Especially if you haven't played in like two weeks, I feel like they increase that number significantly. Yeah, it gets pretty um, crazy after a while. But yeah, I guess that's all we got for this week. Unless anyone had anything else that they wanted to touch on before we end the podcast. I don't playing a lot of what's up? What do you think? Go ahead, Kev. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah. I was just saying I'm playing a lot of Witcher, man. Oh yeah, you have been playing a lot of Witcher. Yeah, and I'm I'm guess I'm just trying to get myself hyped up for Cyberpunk. And the only thing that relates those two games is the developer. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So it's probably a stupid thing. You playing any other Cyberpunk game? Like yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I know. (laughs) I should. I honestly, I should. I should go play like Mankind Divided or something like that. Um. But man, it's Witcher's just so good, dude. I, in in five years since it came out, there hasn't been a open world single player experience save Breath of the Wild that's been as successful at what it tries to do. So I want to play that. I really want to play Witcher three. I've, I, did, I haven't even touched it. I tried yeah. for a little while, and I there was something there was some disconnect that I couldn't get into it. Really, the thing about Witcher that I always tell people who are getting into it is like. The first ten hours are awful, and yeah. and, and that sucks. I did not get that far in. <laughs> it, yeah, so like it's that it's such a hurdle because and it's the worst, most boring part of the game. The first ten hours of The Witcher Three are boring as hell. You run around Velen, you talk to this guy named the Bloody Baron, you deal with his family drama, you go in these like swamps and run around and deal with some ugly witches, and then once you get to the city the first like really first and only big main city that's when it just picks up and becomes one of the best games i've ever played but yeah the first 10 hours are horrible at this point i'm just gonna wait for cyberpunk because it is right around the corner so before we end do y'all know like i listed those games off earlier are you guys gonna pick one or two and just try to stick with it or we just or have you made up your minds are you gonna try to play all of them I have a path in mind and uh, wait, let me open my steam library real quick. There was one game on there that I wanted to mention as well. Cause this, the game that I'm going to play this week is uh, ghost runner is coming out this week, which mm-hmm. is that like sword cyberpunk type game mm-hmm. um, where you're running around slashing people. It's super cool. I'm definitely going to play that this week. And then, it's going to be Call of Duty, Dirt 5, 
and uh, Cyberpunk for me. Yeah, and they're all they all come out like back to back weeks or something like that. But yeah, I think for me, I mean, obviously, I'm going to play Cyberpunk because it's going to be awesome. Um, but the only other one outside of that that I think is a guarantee is Spider Man. Mm. Uh, because the first one is just one of my favorite games of the past, you know, four or five years. Yeah. And I didn't get a PlayStation, so that kind of solves that one for me, dude. So, I mean, I obviously like God of War is, is a, in my opinion, the best from top to bottom PlayStation exclusive, just in terms of technicality mixed with narrative, how the, you know, they do the one shot camera thing and the gameplay. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, Spider Man is just more fun because uh, I, I love Spider Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, that and makes sense. Sw- swinging around and beating up the thugs. I, that's the only, the only game I've ever platinum trophied because hmm. I I wanted to do everything because I never got bored. So I think Miles Morales is really speaking to me, and everything I've seen from it um, looks just cool. Looks incredible, and uh, Spider Verse, you know introduced me really got me introduced to that character and since then i've went back and like read his stories in the comics and i'm I'm excited to see what they do with him in the game and man that's that's exciting and another one that's really interesting to me is immortals phoenix rising oh yeah i played 10 minutes of the demo the other day did you stadia. like it uh i did play on stadia correct um it's it feels like a little bit more mythical and magical than Assassin's Creed, but the gameplay kind of feels similar in ways, I would say, mm-hmm. in terms of like the fighting mechanics and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm going to go back and play a little bit more of it, and then I'll have a more fully formed opinion. But it seems like it has potential to me to be entertaining. Um, if you didn't play Assassin's Creed, you'd probably be like, yo, this is sick. But yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, like... <laughs> I don't know how much the fact that Assassin's Creed exists is like mm-hmm. a factor in that, but there's like more mythical creatures. So it's not really the same because mm-hmm. like all the mythical creatures in Assassin's Creed are just people dressed up as mythical creatures. essentially. Yeah. So what's cool about that one is it does come out in December. Yeah. And it gives us a little it's, time. It's after that week of Thanksgiving where I'm sure all of us are just going to spend the whole week playing cyberpunk. <laughs> Uh, so yeah so hopefully we can get through that or at least i can get through that and um have some time to get into that immortals because that that one looks super super cool uh the other ubisoft games i don't care about right now at least I, i'm yeah. just not i'm not gonna play them there's not enough time so on top kevin, of call of duty thrown on top yeah. of that so kevin what are you thinking are you what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I'm only looking forward to only over for looking forward. What am I saying? I'm looking forward for only three games. Mm-hmm. That's Spider Man, Cyberpunk, and Call of Duty. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that, where I'm at right now too. I got to do that because I, I, yeah, it's already too many games. I want to play Valhalla, but I'm not gonna. It's have so time many. It's gonna be so many hours. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna have time for that. I'm not gonna have time for like. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion, even though I really want to try yeah. that out. It seems interesting. The concept seems interesting, but uh, I'll look at the review scores and then, like, maybe half a year from now when it's on mm-hmm. sale, I'll pick it up. Yeah. Yep. It's going to get Doom Eternal, where it's just, it, it's something I really want to play and it just, I don't get to it until six or seven months later. And I don't know what else. What else is coming out? Immortal Phoenix Rising. I mean, I can. I don't think I'm too interested in it because I haven't mm. really played that type of game anyways. I haven't, I haven't even played Breath of the Wild. So I'm like, if I'm not looking for a Breath of the Wild like type game, I'm not looking forward for this one. So, yeah. Yeah. But I'm I'm with you, Kevin, where I think like those three that you listed are a lock like those. Yeah. Those are three are an absolute lock. I'm going to play Spider-Man. I'm going to play Cyberpunk and I'm going to play Call of Duty. Mm. The other I, I want to try to beat one of those before Immortals comes out. So I can't play Immortals, um, but those three are 100 percent guarantee. Like I'm, I'm so excited for all three of those games. Yeah, I know I can beat. I know Spider Man will be pretty quickly. Like, that's mm-hmm. pretty probably a quick game. You can you can probably beat. And then mm-hmm. Call of Duty. That's like a game to hop on every once in a while, since it's just 
I'm guessing the campaign won't be too long as well. And yeah, six eight hours probably. Yeah, and then yeah, Cyberpunk is gonna have my full attention once I beat those two. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how many much how many hours you can sink into that game for sure. How uh, like, God, too. That's crazy, man. I, yeah, true. Because there's so many different like starting things that you can yeah. do. Uh, Kevin, you have a PlayStation Five and a Series X plan to show up at your house, or w- what you got going on? I think so. I, I'm still on the. I have money for both, but I'm like, uh, should I even get both right now, or should I just get one? And then just play all the stuff on Xbox that you need to. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's tough. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys doing? Are you guys getting both? I got them. I got the digital PS5 and the Series X. I have a Series S coming, and that's it. Mm. I'm excited to see how dirt runs at 120 frames per second on this thing, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. excited for Dirt 5. <laughs> so, <love> dirt. What's, <laughs> yeah, what's interesting is like I almost hope that my Series X comes a week late. So that <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's so, so that the first thing I play on it is Cyberpunk. Mm. Because it come the X comes out on the 10th, right? And then Cyberpunk drops on the 19th. So it's it's just like you know, if my Series X is 10 days late, I'm not going to be too mad about it because Cyberpunk will be up by then, and that's going to yeah. be my cyber where I play Cyberpunk on the Series X. So we we did get that email saying it might now arrive the day. Mm-hmm. Of. Yeah. True. Even then, I don't know what that means. It doesn't mean like how long after, or is it going to happen? Like what's going on with that? Yeah, I don't know. I I have okay, so I have Call of Duty pre-ordered on my PC because I just like playing Call of Duty on PC, and then. I've got Dirt 5 and Cyberpunk pre-ordered on my Xbox, so it'll be on the Series S. And I guess the next-gen upgrades to Cyberpunk aren't coming for a while, but I figured like if I want to stream it, and it will probably load faster on the Series S, so uh, it's easier to run it off of that than try and run a hog of a game on my PC while trying to stream it. Uh, yeah, makes sense. I was going to say, I'm surprised you're not getting it on PC just for yeah. better graphics and stuff like that. I mean, I have a 1080p 144 hertz monitor, so it's kind of like. Uh, I guess. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and what what more am I going to get out of the PC that I'm not going to get out of the Series S? To be quite honest. More frames, you know, more frames. More frames, yes, probably, but <laughs> who knows how many frames that game is going to give you with that, the size of it? That's true. Hey, yeah, I can't wait. If for it me. gives us 60, I'll be happy. You know. Solid 60, no dipping. Solid 60, no dipping would be ideal. Mm. Can't wait for that game. Can't wait for those mm-hmm. games to come out. So many games. Can you imagine so if so Halo soon. didn't get pushed? Can, uh, I don't like, know. Would we play I Call of Duty? I can't even <laughs> fathom. Like, I, like, if Halo Infinite was, like, actually coming out in this, like, late November, early December, it would break my brain. Like, I, I, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't even handle that. Like, I... I might just give up on video games. <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't like think about it, that, it would man. just, it would be too much, dude. So yeah, like I'm glad Halo got pushed at this point because it's like, God, it's there's like five or six games that I really want to play. So I probably would have waited on Cyberpunk in that scenario because I just love Halo so much that I would want to a beat the campaign and then grind some multiplayer. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I would have done the same thing too. Man, that yeah. would have been crazy if they come out. Oh my gosh. Jesus. It yeah. would have been insane. Would have been all right. <laughs> Unless anyone has anything else to say, I think that's all we got for you this week. Yeah. Kevin, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Till next week. Calms out. Calms out. <laughs>